Um, I remember the first time I prayed. <clears throat> and it's funny because I was very shy about getting it wrong. So when I was advised that whatever I knew was sufficient. So I remember the first time, all I knew was Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Allah, Allah, Allah. That was it. So when I finished the prayer, I remember walking from the room I used to pray in my house and walking to my, my bedroom. And I remember grabbing the remote control and turning the TV on. Then I just started crying refusely. I couldn't, I didn't even like, I, it was one of those, I didn't even see it coming. I didn't feel no tears coming. I didn't even feel, it was just like, something just overwhelmed me. And that's when I knew at that moment that, you know, I had actually, you know, spoke to Allah. I actually prayed, like for real, you know. Not the, oh my God, help me when you shot, you know. Not the, oh my God, you know, I'll never drink again if you just get me through this one. I did these things. This was a real salat. This was a real prayer. And I felt the connection with Allah even when I couldn't identify with it right away. But I cried. And ever since then, I took the salat extremely serious. So I guess leaving on this note, I want to leave this as a message to all my brothers and sisters in Islam. The Salat is serious. It is serious. This is purification. And there's no rush. Take your time and pray. You understand? Take your time and pray. When I see people rushing through this a lot, subhanAllah, it bothers me. Because it's like, what if this is your last a lot? What if it is the last one? Sometimes people go into real core and it's like, did you even recite Salat Fatiha? Like, what did, this, what did you just say? Take your time and pray. Make sure in every you know, position that you allow your body to rest in that position before you go into the next position. From the top bed. Take your time. Say the dua before you start to pray. When you go into the court, straighten out your back. Take your time. When you come out of the court, back into the top bed. Take your time. And you know when you enter when you enter Jew, this is the closest you get to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is when we postulate our heads to the floor. We're at the closest point. We're closer to Allah there. Take your time. So, you know, pray your prayers. And pray them like they're your last. And a good way to keep your cool sure is think about death. Think about death when you pray. That would definitely keep you in, 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 you know, keep your kushur strong when you know that death is right around the corner. Think about death. This could be my last prayer, my last salah. And y'all have seen some of the YouTubes. I know y'all have. Y'all have seen a man in Medina who died as a Jew. SubhanAllah. Wow. His last salah took place in the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi and he died as a Jew. It's another one on YouTube where a man is praying alone. Y'all seen that one too. Brothers was walking in and out of the masjid and they didn't even check the brother. He was in Sajju. Return to Allah. So, on this note, as far as waking up, please take this a lot serious. Please wake up for Fajr. Pray your Fajr on time. Pray all your salat on time. Because if you don't have a legitimate excuse for prolonging your salat, this is not acceptable. They have a saying, pray before you prayed on. 